I'm now going to show you how to make a, a wire, uh, a terminal with the uh, property to, to pass the wire number through it. So at the moment in uh, V7R2, in the default install for the IEC version, when you place a terminal onto the wire, it numbers correctly and everything else, but when I put a wire number, so I double click to put a wire number, the wire number doesn't automatically pass through that terminal. If I try and put the same wire number afterwards, it warns me and says that number already exists. So I click OK and it does allow the duplication, but I don't really want that warning. I want it to pass through automatically. So let's take off the uh, wire numbers. Just take those off. Put that to one side. And what I'm going to do is show you how to create a, a terminal which passes the wire number through automatically. I right click and explode it. And then I window around it and simply block it again. This time I choose the group of terminal, but I now choose this option here, potential transparent component. So this allows the wire number to pass through that terminal. So I click OK. Is it multi-level? Is it, is it a stack terminal? I'm going to say no, it's just a single level terminal. And it allows me to put the same information on. Uh, notice here, just go back to that. Terminal sorting is switched on when you save the symbol, so you don't want to show that number. Also, we have a new attribute here, wire transparent. If it's set for 1, the wire number will go through it. If it's set for 0, it will stop at the terminal. So just to check that, if we put that back on the wire, zoom out a bit, and I now put on wire number 1 again, and straight away the wire number passes through. So I control Z to remove that, put it back on, double click, set that to 0, and now put the wire number on, and it's now blocking again. So it's switchable. You have the uh, functionality to switch it one way or another. So what I'm going to do now is just add that to my catalog. I'm going to right click a bit of space and add a new database. Call it custom. Right click, add a new folder and call that terminals. Now with terminals, there's a bit of preparation involved here. I normally set the product to X but importantly, we must take out the terminal number. Click OK. Now we can drag that onto the terminals and call that whatever we want. So I'm going to call that uh, X minus WT. Y transparent terminal. Click on OK. From now on, when I place that in, the software automatically picks up the last product and carries on numbering. So without taking out the terminal number that doesn't work properly so that's a good uh, hint there. And that now works with wire transparency.